Welcome back. Our next speaker during his time at SpaceX worked on the Dragon, Falcon, and Starlink projects, but now you'll find him over at Waymo as a test automation engineer. But today he's talking about putting technology in control of a very important fermentation process. Please welcome to the Hackaday Super Conference stage, Trent Fell. Thank you all for having me here and thanks for that introduction. Um, I'm here to talk about a solution that I developed for a problem that I had in the kitchen. Um, for those of you who are involved in uh, sourdough baking, um, you'll be familiar with um, some of the constraints that uh, are levied on the sourdough starter, which is kind of the seed that you um, start your sourdough baking from. Um, it needs some tight temperature regulation, um, and there really isn't a good device right now for regulating that. Um, there are some products out there that primarily are for heating, um, but depending on the time of the year, you might actually need to cool um, the sourdough starter, um, depending on the temperature outside, depending on your regulation of the temperature inside your house. And uh, being an engineer and not seeing the product that I really wanted, um, after some discussions with friends, we came about a product that we believe was a little bit better. Um, something that heats and cools, and that was kind of the differentiating factor that we thought would be helpful here. So the solution was to put a Peltier cooler on the side of a chamber. Um, Peltier coolers, depending on the direction that the voltage is applied, can pump heat heat in one direction or the other direction. So we saw this as a really simple method of having both cooling and heating um, for a device like this. Um, and so there's a fan on the inside and the outside. Um, the outside is for um, wicking away heat um, so that the inside can be cooler. And the inside is for uh, distributing air inside the volume. Um, and so like I mentioned, um, if you just switch the voltage there, then you can change the mode of operation. Um, and it's something that's pretty easy to do with um, an H-bridge. So um, here's the block diagram of the, uh, the device that um, we actually have here at the, on the table. Um, it's based on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, and then um, the meat of it is kind of um, up there on the top left where the Peltier cooler and the fans are. But there's some buttons to control the temperature setting um, and a display to show you um, what the temperature inside currently is. And so I have this, I have this running up here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this through the, um, from the camera up here. But there are a couple buttons um, where you can increase the temperature or decrease the temperature. And then um, the Peltier cooler um, responds. It will either change the heating or change the cooling. Um, and it's as simple as switching the voltage um, applied to that Peltier cooler. So I've used this at my house already. Um, I've gotten a pretty good performance out of it. So I've gotten up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, depending on the, um, depending on the exterior temperature and the fans that you have to sink heat, um, you can achieve a greater temperature range. Um, but I found that uh, the way that I have this currently set up was uh, sufficient for a lot of the uh, baking um, and kitchen needs that I have. Um, and then um, this isn't just good for sourdough. Uh, you can use this for uh, pickling. Um, it's an that's another fermentation process. Um, and then um, mushrooms, also a, um, a fungi, um, just like yeast is, um, also has similar uh, temperature constraints. So um, there are things that you just can't do with appliances that are on the shelf right now, um, like switching the temperature between what um, your um, starter needs at certain times of the day, at night. Um, so this is a little, pretty powerful device um, to take into the kitchen. Um, and then 
I've got a couple ideas for improvements here that um, I haven't gotten to yet, but it's definitely um, some small things that could um, improve the reliability or the performance. Um, and I've kind of put this project on the back burner. Um, it's in a working state right now, so I can make use of it. Um, but if anybody was interested in developing this further, um, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to pick this back up if there's um, interest in it from the community. Um, and I know that I've talked to some of you guys already today, and um, it does sound like this might be something that um, could be used by other people. Um, all, of the, uh, all of the code is on um, GitHub there, and um, the hardware ended up being very plug and play. Um, there's uh, modules for the HBridge circuit um, that just connect to the Raspberry Pi. Um, the display has a module, um, and then there's just a power supply um, that's mounted to the top of this um, fine chamber that I got from McMaster. Um, so that's my uh, demo. Thank you all for coming.